stickers, sweets. So now with the actual Shawshank world now on the ring. The moment of truth. Hi guys, uh, in 1994, Frank Darabond uh, directed um, a movie called The Shawshank Redemption, which was based on a Stephen King novella. Um, and it's ultimately a movie about hope. It's a prison drama. If you haven't seen it, go watch it before you watch this, because there's just no point. This is rubbish in comparison with the movie. Um, I actually think it's the greatest movie ever made. It's incredible. Um, and I've recently went on a bit of a treasure hunt to try and find things to do with the film. So. Spoiler alert, watch the movie before you listen to this. At the end of the film, uh, Red, the character played by Morgan Freeman, takes a walk up to an old oak tree and it's a very important part of the movie. Fans used to flock to go and see this tree, um, but very sadly in 2011, following a storm, part of the tree came down. Um, and over time the rest of it for safety reasons had to come down finally coming down in 2017 and I did a bit of research on this and I found that props or, or memorabilia pieces were made from those pieces of wood which is kind of amazing it's the nice bonus side to this tree coming down um, and there's a website called bow and harrow that makes items from pieces of wood from diff very important pieces of wood from different areas um, go check it out it's bowandharrow.com I ordered a ring um, that sort of a piece of the oak going around it. I thought it was great to have that actually on my finger, a part of that movie. So this had me inspired and I actually did my first piece of serious artwork that I've done in ages. This Shawshank tree uh, picture is hand drawn and digitally coloured. Um, I'll put a version here so you can see it a bit clearer. Um, and I did this picture um, and I put it on the internet so the fans could see and um, it got me in touch with a few different people, one of whom was Dan Dees, who is the owner, or was the owner of the tree when it was still standing. Um, so I sent him a print of it and he sent me in return some pieces of actual oak from the Shawshank tree. So there you go. And it's just amazing to hold. It's great to think you've got a piece of that important scene here in my room. Um, and um, so what I did was with another piece of it, I did some pyrography, which I'll show you later in the video. Thanks Dan for sharing those pieces of wood from your own collection. I really appreciate it. You don't know how much that means to me. And then fairly soon after, along came the package from Kate and Bow and Harrow. So I'm pleased to say that today the package has turned up from Bow and Harrow. Um, so I get to open it and see what's inside. I'm very excited. Cut it with my trusty knife. There we go. Okay, here's the box. Let's have a look. Oh, now before I open the actual the ring, she burnt some pieces of wood for me. So she, she said that different artwork that I do would look good on wood and she's got a machine that does so. So, oh, let's just have a look. That's more than one. She's done, oh, thanks so much, Kate, if you're watching this. Look at this. This is one of the ink pot monkey designs I did. That's come out great. It's an amazing machine. <laughs> There's my logo. Wow, thanks so much. If you're watching, Kate, thank you. This is great. And actually the tree I did for the Story Spark cards we've been doing. And there's a little Shawshank thing that went in the alcohol and painkillers diary recently. That's amazing. Thanks so much. It's brilliant. Stickers. Sweets. So now with the actual Shawshank world now on the ring. The moment of truth. Here we go. To actually wear on my finger um, a prop from a movie, well, you know, part of something that was in a movie that means so much to me. It's going to be amazing. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at the grain in the wood. What an amazing piece of wood. My hands are shaking. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kate. That is amazing. So a little different from my usual videos where you see me do drawings and tutorials and bits and pieces. Um, here is me doing a bit of pyrography. It's my first sort of attempts at this kind of thing and I'm really getting into it now and doing more of this. Um, so enjoy.
Goddamn right. <laughs>